In this video, I'm going to show you an incredible tool that will add audio to any video. You can take a video that has no audio like this to this. It does this in a few seconds with one click, and you can also do it without any prompt, which I think is an absolute game changer. I'm going to show you what it's not so good at, which actually can create some hilarious videos, and what it is really good at. I've got loads of examples to show you, so stay tuned. I also created a short advertisement which uses all the sound effects created with this tool. But for now, let's get into it. So to start off, let's have a look at where you can use this tool. You can use it with Luma and another site which is actually my favourite, which we'll get to shortly. So let's do a quick test in Luma. And here you can see I've got all of my video generations. And I'll just pick a random one to start with. So I've got this video of a car going extremely fast. And if you come down here, you can see there is the audio tab. So if you just click on that, you can add in your own description or you can allow it to look at the video and create its own sound. So for this one, I'll just click create and let's see what it makes. And it's already generated it and it took about three seconds. Okay, that sounded pretty good. It noticed it was a car and it had that kind of car sound effect. So that was pretty cool. Um, let's try now putting into the description car driving fast and see what that does. Okay, I think that was actually a little bit better. And I also noticed at the end of the video where the car kind of drifts backwards a bit, the sound does change, which is pretty cool. And here's another one I did, but this time with an animation of someone riding a motorbike. I think that sounds pretty awesome. It even sounds like it's from an animation, which is really cool. And here's one of an animation of a cat. Sounds really good. And here we have a children's illustration style video. That one works really well as you could see when the T-Rex opens its mouth, it creates that kind of dinosaur roar, which is really impressive. And here we have a cat eating noodles. Now I gave this one no prompt, so it just noticed there was a cat in the shot and added a little bit of a purr and notice that the cat was eating noodles and adds that kind of slurping sound effect, which is very impressive that it noticed these elements within the video and added them itself. And in this video, I've got this kind of Android looking robot in front of a multicolored tunnel and I gave it no prompt and I just wanted to see what kind of sound it would come up with. And the result is really impressive. <laughs> So that was pretty impressive. It kind of noticed it was a weird futuristic techno kind of vibe and added some singing to it. So I would definitely experiment with adding no prompt just to see what kind of outputs you can get. Luma is really good if you've already got your AI videos or you're generating new ones and you want to add audio to them. But let's say you've got a video that you've shot from outside of Luma, one from your smartphone or any other video generator, and you want to add sound to it. You can't do that with Luma. So now I'm going to show you another website, which is my favorite way of adding audio to video. It's called MM Audio. It allows you to put any video in here up to the size of 50 megabytes and then just click generate audio and it will automatically add the audio in for you. Now you can add a prompt as well, but let's just give it a test without any prompt to start with. So I'm going to use this video of these fireworks and it has no sound on it. So let's see what it can do with it. So I'm going to leave the prompt box empty and you can also add negative prompts. We come down to advanced options. You can actually change the duration and there are other advanced settings here. 
So let's click generate audio. This one took around 35 seconds, but I have seen it do it in a few seconds before. So I think it's depending on what video you give it. So let's have a listen to it. I am incredibly impressed with how this turned out because as you notice that when the fireworks are going off, it's adding in those sounds perfectly timed with those explosions. This is where this tool comes in really handy. Let's say you had a fireworks video without any sound and you wanted a sound effect. Normally you would have to go and find a sound effect of fireworks and you would just drag it under that video and let it play. You'd either have to time those sound effects perfectly to the explosions of the fireworks, which can take a really long time. But with this, it automatically sees that the fireworks are going off and it adds those sounds perfectly with the timing of the video. This is where it's going to save so much time in post-production. So let's try a few different videos. I've got this video of two people playing instruments and let's see if it can identify what they're playing. I'll leave the prompt blank. So let's have a listen. Okay, that was really interesting. So as you can see in the video, she's playing some kind of tabla drums and he's got a tambourine and it's managed to include both of those instruments in the output, which is very impressive. And I didn't even prompt it with anything. And let's see how well it works with other instruments. So I've got this AI video of me playing the piano and I want to see if it can tell that there's a piano in the shot. Now I won't give it any prompt, I just want to see if it will add that piano sound into it. I think that sounded pretty good. The piano playing wasn't the best, but it did notice I was playing a piano and added that sound effect, which was pretty cool. There are some instances where you will have to prompt it, as sometimes if you leave it blank, it will start adding in weird sounds into the video. So for this example, I just added a video of someone vacuuming, but it decided to add in some music. <laughs> So yeah, it's added in some weird music in the background, which doesn't sound too bad to be honest. The person could just be listening to it in the background, but I just wanted the vacuum sound. So I added in the prompt to vacuum and it created this sound with the video. Which I think sounds great, but that's just a reason why sometimes you will need to add a prompt in if you are finding that it's adding weird things into it. There are some things that it is just not good at doing. And what I found out, it doesn't do that well with people talking. So let's try an example. So I'm just jumping quickly back over to Luma and I gave it this video of a woman singing. And obviously there's no audio in it, but after I ran it through the audio tool, it created this video. Now, it's kind of impressive that it kind of adds the vocals as she's opening her mouth, but it's just gobbledygook. I have no idea what she's saying. So I don't know where they're getting this vocal from. It would be cool if you could add in the lyrics and they would say it, but um, yeah, it's not quite there yet with the human speaking kind of aspect of the sound. Now, you can use it for human emotion as well. So I've got this video of someone laughing and I want to see if it can add a laughing sound effect to it. And let's check out the results. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty hilarious. It did a really good job at adding the laughter with the facial timing of him laughing. Bit too weird for me. I think if you were doing a serious video, I probably wouldn't use this one, but I'm sure it will keep improving. And here's a video of people at a party with no prompt, and it's kind of creepy. So I added a prompt of people at a party music in the background and it gave me this. So it doesn't really know what to do with people, it just kind of adds gibberish into the scene. And I also tested it with a video of this crying baby.
Now, I think that one turned out a lot better. It was a lot more natural sounding and it was synced up nicely with the video. So there are definitely use cases for it with humans, but you may have to tweak the settings and the prompts to get a good result. Now let's have a look at some examples where I think it works really well. I've been using it to create loads of awesome sound effects for visual effect shots. So I've got this video of a tidal wave coming through a village and let's see what it does with that without adding any prompt. Okay, and that was pretty awesome. It added in the timing of the sound and that would have taken a while to find that kind of sound effect in a library and add it to the video. So I am very impressed with that. And I'll try it with this video here of an avalanche. And that was pretty cool. So let's try it on this video of a man firing a gun and we'll see if it can time up the sound of the gunshot with the gun being fired on the video. That was really good. It managed to get the gunshot sound perfectly in time with the video, which is very, very impressive. And here's another video of someone punching a punch bag and let's see if it can time up the sounds perfectly with the video, just like the gunshot one, but this time there's a bit more going on. And let's see what it's done. That was pretty awesome. It even had that kind of ambient sound of someone in the room with him. And yeah, that was pretty incredible. Now, if you didn't want the people speaking in it, then you could probably add into the negative prompt talking or people talking, and it should take that out. Another really useful way to use this tool is more of the kind of ambient sounds you get in videos. So it's perfect if you just want to add a door kind of creaking, or in this case, I've got a video of a ceiling fan and it creates this nice ambient sound. These are perfect for the base of your video because then you can add things over the top, but it just adds that kind of realism to the shot. It's perfect for doing kind of nature sounds as well. So if you want some nice relaxing waves. Or just some ambient sounds, it's perfect for that. It's really good at doing action scenes. Got this video here of a soldier running through a battlefield and I prompted it with gunfire and explosions. And it sounds awesome. And this one here really impressed me. So I wanted to see if I could get sound effects of someone eating some chips because I knew they'll be crunchy and they might sound pretty good. Um, so I've got this video here and I just prompted it with a man eating chips and it created this. Now, what's really interesting about this one is that the initial bite is the crunchy one. And then for every bite he takes while it's in his mouth, it has that kind of chewing sound effect. And it adds that sound effect perfectly in time with his chewing, which I just think is pretty mind blowing. As to find this sound and get it synced up with this video would take ages or it would just take ages to edit it. And here's one of a man eating an apple. It was kind of odd the way he was eating it, but you get the idea. I actually created a short advertisement on the importance of sound, and I used AI videos and used these tools to add all of the sound effects in. So here's that video. The art of sound effects. Sound effects transform visuals into immersive experiences. They set the mood, heighten emotions, and breathe life into every scene. From a soft whisper to a powerful crash, each effect is crafted to captivate and tell a story. Without them, experiences would feel flat. Listen closely and feel the magic of sound. I think that turned out really well, and it saved a ton of time using these tools to add the sound effects. Otherwise, it would have taken me probably hours to find those sounds individually, and then to add those sounds manually to the videos and edit them together would have taken a very long time. 
To use MM Audio, they do give you one free use per day that you can use, or they have two plans. I'm just using the basic $9.99 a month plan, which I actually think is a really good option, as they have unlimited video to audio processing. So you could just buy it for one month, get all your projects done in that month, and then cancel it after. But I actually think $10 is a very approachable price for what you're getting. So I've left a link down below if you do want to check it out, even if you do just use the one free generation per day. So we're coming to the end of the video here, and I just want to reiterate how powerful this tool is, and I think we'll see it in a lot of AI video generators coming out. As it adds the audio with a click of a button and usually has really good results, it's just going to save a ton of time. As before, the process I would have to do is go to a sound effects website, find the right sound, download it, put it onto the clip, edit it with the clip so it sounded all right. And now I can do that within a minute and the results are probably better than the ones I was getting before when I was editing it myself. So I think this is extremely powerful and I hope you can find a good use for it. If you have any tips or tricks you would like to share with the community, please leave them down below. And if you could give this video a like and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. Feel free to check out our other videos as well, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.